ladies and gentlemen, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm afraid tonight's performance of the Marching Lumberjacks will be performed by Clint Eastwood in an empty chair. I'm gonna be screaming. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Republicans and Democrats, Libertarians and Greens, the Associated Students of Humboldt State are finally, once again, unable to prevent your world famous Humboldt State University Marching The Marching Lumberjacks are proud to announce tonight the acquisition of two entirely new high-speed top-fuel hybrid electric racing snails for the 2012 Humboldt State snail racing season. And now, if you will join with me and over 42 years of Humboldt tradition to launch our valiant racers, oh so eager to speed across the field, release the snails! And they're off, I think. Well, you know, just like our snail racers, your marching lumberjacks are very, very happy to be on the field this evening. That's right, the band is extra super happy because it is Pride Weekend here in Humboldt County. It's a special time for love, rainbows, and finding glitter in places you'd rather not admit. For us, Pride Weekend is a special time, a positive time where the band loudly celebrates its acceptance of all types of musicians, including the guys we usually find over in the corner, face deep in the woodwind brass wind catalog, our tuba players. instrumental sections in the Marching Lumberjacks, and over the years the band has come to lovingly embrace all varieties of sectional orientation and support every sexual identity. Alto sax, tenor sax, berry sax, or Kenny G are all welcome here. But sadly, this was not always the way. It's hard to believe, but back in the Dark Ages, it was only acceptable by law for horn players to play duets with drummers, and drummers to play duets with horn players. As it was written by John Philip Sousa and Pat Robertson, a drummer shall not play with another drummer as he does with a horn player, for it is an abomination. This sad, painful controversy split the band with half supporting their right to express true sectional orientation and the other half remaining steadfast in their ways, fearing that same sectionality would open the door to all kinds of crazy things, like people wishing to duet with their pets.
This dark time of polarization opened the floodgates to vile corporate sponsorship. Those supporting same section duets were led by that guy, you know, from Requiem for a Dream, citing his love of brass to brass ensembles. And because nothing says traditional morality like a hot piece of meat between two buttered buns, the more traditional musicians logically turn to the fast food industry and Chick-fil-A for moral leadership. The two sides became terrifyingly divided and desperately needed a way to resolve their conflict, resolve their moral quandaries, and resolve their dominant seventh chord. But the hardline musicians refused to seek resolution, preferring instead to stand in line for days at Chick-fil-A's to show their support for animal cruelty and poor spelling. The Chick-fil-A masters, no longer content with business from half a band, sent their giant chicken enforcer, reeking of dirty peanut oil to fight the marching lumberjacks and clog their arteries. Realizing that the lives of their friends and fellow musicians were more important than the so-called immorality of same-section duets, the band joined together as one to fight back against the Chick-fil-A, gathering their combined instrumental power to act as one and release the band's double secret weapon! the Chick-fil-A, Godzilla showed the band the error of their ways. And the marching lumberjacks vowed to forever embrace all sectional preferences, vowing never to visit a Chick-fil-A again, and preferring instead to seek the morally superior gospel of the Walmart. We hope you've enjoyed and learned from our tale, and we wish you a happy and safe Humboldt Pride weekend. But before we leave you, please remember, wherever you decide to jam this weekend, don't forget to wrap your woodwind.
ladies and gentlemen, your marching lumberjack! Join us again next week for part two of the exciting Humboldt State Snail Races and our star-spangled musical salute to used coffee filters and decoding the human genome. Thank you, good night, and go Jazz!